I feel to about. wake, I need to clatter up. The uh, bubbles. I need bubbles to, get on our hands. I need to, we put them on the window out. and see what's clattering. Ran up to see what's the matter. The mind of a preschooler is a fascinating thing. Even if grown-ups cannot always follow the thoughts, the play years are a magical time filled with fantasy and discovery that preschoolers can communicate to us with ever-increasing success. During these years, children learn at a rapid pace. Most of this learning is done while they play. When preschoolers play, there is a lot more going on in their little heads than how much fun they are having. During the play years of two to five, the time spent with blocks, puzzles, trucks, Play-Doh, and other children contributes much to their developing cognitive abilities. On their own, and with the help of caregivers, they continually learn how the world works and how to figure out the answers to the simple problems it presents. They develop basic skills for taking care of themselves, how to get a drink of water, how to brush their teeth, their mastery of language improves dramatically, and their memory becomes more useful to them. The play years are a busy time indeed. Okay. Oh. That's a J! That's very good. Okay, do the next letter. Most young children are excited when they first learn to write their own names, completely unaware that the marks on the paper represent a new cognitive ability, symbolic thinking. Symbolic thought is the ability to make one thing represent something else. So language is the prime example. Language is a system where you take arbitrary sounds and they represent things. Now, uh, another example of symbolic thought would be make-believe play. You watch a child having an object and straddling it and pretending like it's a horse. So the object is a symbol for the horse. Those can't be pretend. They gotta be real candy. It's paper. Okay, so that's real candy. Do you want to get some okay. pretend carrots and apples? 